Six Behaviors to Increase Your Confidence Confidence is a powerful asset that can significantly shape our personal and professional lives. The journey to becoming more self-assured often involves changes in behavior, rather than merely altering our attitudes. This video explores six effective behaviors that can help you cultivate confidence, backed by personal anecdotes and insights from successful women in various industries. My journey to confidence. Reflecting on my own journey, I remember a pivotal moment in high school. When tasked with ordering pizza for my family, I was too shy to make the call and handed the phone to my older brother instead. Fast forward to my college days at the University of Illinois, where I experienced homesickness so profound that it made me question my decision to leave home. I found myself isolating in my dorm room instead of engaging with others. Surrounded by confident peers, I realized that my shy behaviors would not lead me to my goals. I knew it was time for a change. Research supports the idea that changing behaviors is more effective than solely focusing on attitudes. To move forward I asked myself, who am I? And who do I want to become? With the ambition of pursuing a successful career in sports management, I realized I needed to act more confidently. Over a decade later, I became the first female general manager of a AAA baseball team in nearly 20 years. This achievement reinforced the necessity of confidence and the behaviors that foster it. Through my experiences and the insights shared by over 90 female executives on my podcast, Leadership is Female, I've compiled six impactful behaviors that can help anyone increase their confidence. 1. Count yourself in. The first step to building confidence is to count yourself in. This technique can help you overcome initial nerves. For example, during my first encounter with an opposing baseball team, I was paralyzed with anxiety. But as I counted down, 3, 2, 1, go. I found the courage to approach the team manager about a uniform issue. This simple act of counting not only propelled me into action, but also reinforced my belief in standing up for what I believe is right. Why it works. Counting provides a structured way to initiate action. It creates a sense of urgency and allows you to shift your focus from fear to action. Next time you find yourself hesitating, Remember to count yourself in. 2. Give yourself 20 seconds of courage. Sometimes, all it takes is a fleeting moment of bravery. I experienced this when I was ready to publish my podcast. Sitting on my closet floor, I was paralyzed by doubts about my work. Then I reminded myself to give it just 20 seconds of courage. I hit the publish button and to my surprise, nothing catastrophic happened. The podcast flourished, and my fears were laid to rest. Why it works. 20 seconds may seem trivial, but it's enough time to make a pivotal decision. By allowing yourself a short window of courage, you can break through the paralysis of fear and doubt. 3. Take a seat at the table. Physical presence matters. I once spoke with a woman representing major baseball names, who noticed many women hanging around the edges of meetings, waiting for others to take the lead. To boost her confidence, she made the conscious decision to enter the room, claim her space, and share her insights. This small act of taking a seat at the table transformed her professional interactions. Why it works. Sitting at the table symbolizes your right to be present and engaged. It fosters an environment where your voice can be heard, contributing to both your confidence and credibility. 4. Cheer for others' success. In a world where competition can overshadow collaboration, it's crucial to celebrate the achievements of others. Inspired by Amy Poehler's mantra, Good for her, not for me. I learned to shift my perspective. Instead of feeling jealous when a colleague succeeded, I chose to support her. 
This behavior not only helped build strong professional relationships, but also cultivated my own confidence. Why it works. Celebrating others fosters a positive community. Confident individuals know that another's success does not diminish their worth. The energy you put into supporting others often returns to you in unexpected ways. 5. Leverage your past success. When faced with new challenges, it's beneficial to reflect on your past accomplishments. Before pitching for a promotion, a woman I interviewed on my podcast reviewed her previous job successes. By highlighting her achievements, she was able to confidently advocate for herself and secure the promotion she desired. Why it works. Recognizing and reflecting on your previous successes creates a solid foundation of confidence. When you understand what you've already accomplished, you can approach new opportunities with a mindset grounded in proven capability. 6. Celebrate constantly. The journey of building confidence requires consistent acknowledgement of your achievements. Often, we rush past our victories without celebrating them. Creating a highlight reel of accomplishments or treating yourself after reaching a goal reinforces positive behaviors and can strengthen your self-belief. Why it works. Celebration creates mental markers linked to success, helping you remember your journey and achievements. The more you celebrate, the more you'll reinforce the behaviors that led you to your victories. Conclusion. Increasing your confidence is a journey rooted in actionable behaviors rather than fleeting thoughts. By counting yourself in, giving yourself moments of courage, claiming your space, celebrating others, leveraging past successes, and consistently celebrating your victories, you can cultivate a powerful sense of self-assurance. Remember, confidence is not an inherent trait. It's a skill that can be developed through practice. So, how would your life change if you were 10 times more confident? Embrace these behaviors and start your journey today. You'll find that confidence is not just a destination, but an exciting journey worth undertaking. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.